and welcome to my channel my name is Tashika Bailey and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my natural everyday highlight and contour makeup now I don't wear makeup every day ain't nobody got time for that I ain't got time for that but if I were to wear makeup every day or if I was going to an event that required me to spend all this time doing my makeup then this is how I would do it so let's get into it first of all I start off by setting my face with my Avon set and prime spray I then go in with the second primer because I have really oily skin. I use the Rimmel London Stay Matte Primer to mattify my skin. After applying my primer, I like to paint on my foundation. The foundation that I'm using is the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid Foundation in the shade Caramel. It is a light coverage foundation which is perfect for me because I have acne and I don't want to be layering lots of products, thick products onto my face because it will just clog it up and make my acne even worse which I don't want. I've been using this foundation for years now and it's basically my second skin because it matches my skin tone perfectly. Unfortunately this is the darkest shade that they have in this foundation. I make sure to blend out the foundation into my neck so I don't get that transition between where the colour of my foundation ends and the colour of my neck begins. I then go in with my Eligo Pro Concealer in the shade Cool Tan. I use this to highlight the key areas of my face which are under my eye, my chin, my cupid's bow, the bridge of my nose and my forehead. I also like to use this to highlight just beneath where my contour should be to give it that nice sharp look. After applying so much concealer to my face, I make sure that I get a beauty blender and hashtag blend that sucker out because I don't want my concealer to just be chilling there on my face. Nobody does. It is not cute. I use the darkest colour from this cream highlight and contour palette that I got from eBay. I use this colour to contour all the areas that I didn't highlight. my contour I make sure that I get a beauty blender and blend everything together so there are hashtag no harsh lines I want my face to look smooth and seamless <laughs> and a lot of creases under my eye what I like to do is I like to set my highlights before I actually bake my face so what I do is I add a bit of the Ben Eye powder underneath my eye my chin the bridge of my nose and my forehead I don't actually have translucent powder which is why I use the Ben Eye powder setting my makeup before I actually bake my face just to help my makeup to last as long as possible throughout the day After setting my 
face, I then proceed to bake in my face using the same Ben I Banana Powder. I just add some of this to all the highlighted areas on my face, you know, the areas I've been highlighting throughout this video. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> a couple of minutes for my face to bake and for the powder to you know take action and do its thing and you know got a bit bored so I started taking some selfies and I started making some snaps and I'm just gonna sit and stare at the camera waiting for my face to bake <laughs> after the powder has been sitting on my face for a good five minutes and I now know that I am well baked and well mattified I just get a brush and sweep the powder off my face. Under my eye, I like to sweep upwards, but carefully so it doesn't get into my eyes. Ain't nobody trying to go blind out here. So for an everyday natural look, I just don't have the time to apply lashes. I wouldn't wear lashes every day and I don't wear lashes every day anyway. So for this, I'll just stick to my mascara and the one that I use is the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express Mascara. And trust me when I say, when I apply my mascara, my lashes stand up and they salute you. Like you know my lashes are there when I apply my mascara. Just, just wait and see because you think, you <laughs> just wait and see. I love this mascara, I've had it for such a long time and I've been using it for such a long time and they just make my lashes salute you but I guess the way that I apply mascara, girl these lashes better stand up when I apply mascara like <laughs> it's not even a joke. When it comes to my lips, I love the ombre style and I also love dark berry lipsticks. I wear these two lipsticks every day and they're amazing. What I do is I line my lips with Collections Gothic Glam Blackberry Full Lipstick and then I fill in the middle of my lips with Collections Gothic Glam Seduction Lipstick. To set my face and blend everything seamlessly together, I'm using Sleek's Luminous Pressed Powder in 03. And that's my everyday natural makeup look completed. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a blessed morning, day or night whenever you watched it. And I'll see you in my next video, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's your girl Tashika Bailey. Bye! And she's royal, yeah, so royal And I want her in my life I never know anyone So one of a kind, no The way she moves to her own beat She has the qualities